Hello, this is Ragok, aka Uzo, and in this movie I'm going to talk about downstate, the importance of stability, and what I believe will become the importance of fear. This movie is going to be from the point of view of a guardian, so I'm only going to talk about those things that are available to a guardian with my particular build. I'm going to start this off with an extended fight at the mansion in Kylo. I'm able to revive a friendly player here, and the first thing I want to do is just get back to the point so I can defend it. The ranger that I'm with is kind of squishy, so I throw up my block and I get in front of him to try to take some of the hits for him. An ad elementalist comes in and blows us out, and now the ranger is taking focus from an engineer, a ranger, and an elementalist. Tome of Courage is not an option here because the ranger's health is too low. There's no way in the world I'd be able to get that heal off before he dies. So I go ahead and heal myself in preparation for trying to revive him for when he gets downed. Both the enemy and the friendly ranger have been downed, so I pop Stand Your Ground when I get in range. Stand Your Ground gives 5 seconds of stability. When I start a revive, I proc a Shield of Absorption. It got nerfed in BWE3 where it doesn't do the knockback effect, but it still absorbs projectiles, so it helps me avoid some of the damage that's coming in from the engineer. The downed ranger tries to interrupt me with Thunderclap, but I'm immune due to stability. The Elementalist has placed a Dragon's Tooth over our head, and that's something that you definitely want to avoid since it can hit pretty hard. As soon as I get this revive off, I evade out of that, and I go back into the point. Now they have taken advantage of the fact that I was out of the point and they've neutralized it, but I'm just trying to keep them from capturing it at this point in time. Tome of Courage is now a good option since both of our elves are high enough to survive the channel. At this point in time we get a couple of adds, a ranger adds for the enemy team, and a thief adds for the friendly team. The enemy ranger uses their elite to root us, and fortunately for us it aligns us perfectly for protective spirit, which gives protection and regeneration to all three of us. I'm dropping as many heals as I can on the friendly ranger, but eventually he just falls to the focus fire. Here the enemy elementalist makes a nice move. He throws up his stability as he's coming down on his stomp. Even if I had the pre-nerf Resolute Healer, he still would have finished him. Now I'm in a 1v2 situation and I'm just trying to hang on for as long as I can. They're throwing down a lot of combo fields, so I try to find a place in between them and I throw up my Sanctuary and Hammer. As a Guardian, this next part is something that you really have to watch out for. Elementalists love to AoE you when you put up your Sanctuary. He's put a dragon's tooth over my head. I end up evading that and then come back into the bubble to receive a little bit more healing. At this point, I'm just pretty much screwed, but I do notice that help has arrived. Right before I get downed, I pop my Stand Your Ground. Stand Your Ground doesn't only give me five seconds of stability, it gives my group mates five seconds of stability. Now, if I had been on Mumble with this player, I would have told them that they have stability and they would have been able to get a 100% guaranteed revive on me since none of the enemy players have fear. As it turns out I get revived anyway and we go on to win this fight and hold the mansion. The reason that fear is a part of this discussion is because fear counters stability. I know that the tooltip for stability says that it works against fear but that is simply just not the case. I believe that this is intentional and that the tooltip has just not been updated. There's only a few things that go through stability. Immobilizes and roots, but that's not going to stop someone from finishing if they're already in the finished animation. MOA goes through stability, but typically you want to save MOA for countering another elite like Tome of Courage, not for stopping a stomp. So I think they added fear as another counter to stability. At the moment, there are only a few professions that have a controllable fear. You have the warrior Fear Me, which is really good now that it's been buffed. You have Necros, which have multiple ways of fearing. And you have Ranger with a wolf pet. The Mesmer Chaos Storm can fear, but that's random. Using stability to secure both stomps and revives is going to be very popular. So, in turn, that's going to make Fears popular as a counter to Stability Stomps and Stability Revives. I must not fear. Fear is the mind 
particular. In this next clip, there are only three friendly players and four enemy players on the entire map. Incifer, a guardian from Team Legacy, just got zerged and I wasn't sure if he had been stomped or not, so I come up to him to try to revive him. I used Shield of Wrath to put up blocks to try to protect my revive, but it turns out that he was already stomped. This leaves us in a 2v4 situation, so I start casting my Tome of Courage and I move to try to protect the cast using Line of Sight. Also notice here that I use Retreat while the Tome of Courage is in the channel cast. I get the heal off, but I end up going down pretty quickly anyway because there are four DPS classes focusing me. I interrupt their first stomp attempt with Wave of Light. Incifer makes it back to the fight, and between his Binding Blade and his Hammer they are not able to finish me. This buys enough time for me to use Symbol of Judgment, and with Zephyros reviving me, I'm able to get back up. I pop my Sanctuary and Zephyros and I stand in it for the heals. We've also downed the enemy Elementalist, so now it's a 3v3. What happens next is going to require a little bit of explaining. The enemy switches their focus to Incifer, and now I'm just trying to help him out. I summon my hammer and use it immediately to knock down the warrior. I then use Shield of Wrath while I'm inside of Sanctuary which gives us area retaliation. Since I'm doing that inside of Sanctuary, the Shield of Wrath is guaranteed to explode since the Sanctuary is protecting it from having its blocks used up. I also use Virtue of Resolve to try to help Incifer but it's not enough and he does end up getting downed. The stakes are now incredibly high since we have down players on both sides of this fight. They have two down players, we have one down player. If they finish off Incifer, then Zephyros and I get stuck in a 2v4. If we revive Incifer, then we have a 3v2. I root the warrior to protect Zephyros as he's reviving Incifer. The warrior tries to stomp to interrupt that revive, but he's too far away because of that root. To protect my stomp on the warrior, I use retreat mid-channel for the block. We then chase and run down the most feared and respected mesmer in the game, Fart Bong Boner Satan. This next fight is going to be a 1v2 against a couple of elementalists. By the damage on my crit, this first elementalist is going to be my primary target because they're a glass cannon. So they should be easier to kill, but also I need to get on them first because they're more dangerous if left alone. Sanctuary is not as effective against Elementalists as it is against other classes, but notice that this second Elementalist has made a mistake in positioning, and I'm able to use Sanctuary to pin them up against a wall and put them into a knockdown loop. The Glass Cannon Elementalist hits me with a big fire grab crit which puts me at low health, but at the same time I was hitting them with a nice string of orb crits and they end up dying to my bleeds around the corner. I then take advantage of what's left of my Sanctuary and also use a block from Retreat to get my Tome of Courage off and heal to full. This is probably a bug, but Shield of Judgment hits that downed Elementalist to the wall, interrupting their heal. Speaking of health, how you manage your health is extremely important in fights like this one. The more heals that you can get off in a single fight, the better chances you have of winning that fight. Because of this, I like to use my first heal when I dip down below around 16,000 health. The reason why is because my max health is around 22.6k and my heal does around 6.8k. Notice here, after I land this heal, I'm only around 200 hit points short of my max health. So that was a very efficient heal. I summon my Hammer of Wisdom, but the second Elementalist does a smart thing and just kites around until the Hammer dissipates. The downed Elementalists use Vaporform to get up at the top of this rock outcropping. I tag them again to stop their heal, and then they go back into Vaporform and leave. You have to be really careful in situations like these. If I get too focused on the downed player, then the player that's still alive will probably end up killing me. My health is dropping low here, and I notice that my heal is about to come off of cooldown again. So instead of chasing after the down player, I go defensive. I end up evading a blazing speed and arcane wave combination, and pretty much get my heal off right as it comes off of cooldown. That allows me to turn the tables and go more offensive on the second elementalist, and I end up forcing them to play defensively, and they go into water attunement. 
I then switch back to the downed elementalist and tag them again to stop their healing. The second elementalist ends up hitting me with an updraft that knocks me down. And it's interesting to note here that I'm able to use retreat while I'm actually knocked down on the ground. Now it's decision time again. If I try to go after that downed elementalist, I'll probably end up getting killed. Again, my health is just too low to risk that. But notice that my heal is coming off a cooldown again. So I go more defensive. I use my Virtue of Justice to blind the second elementalist to help protect my channeled heal. But it turns out they go for the heal at the same time and we end up trading our heals. I then switch back to the downed elementalist, tag them again to stop their healing. They go into misform and the second elementalist knocks me down with earthquake. My health is low again but I'm 10 seconds away from my heal so I go ahead and decide to go for the finish. I root them to put vulnerability on them to increase my damage, however I notice that my shield of wrath is up so I decide to change tactics and actually go for the stomp. That first elementalist ended up getting stuck in down state for 1 minute and 33 seconds. The Asura elementalist made a pretty big mistake by not trying to revive the down elementalist more. There were times in this fight when my Sanctuary, Shield of Absorption, and Hammer were all down, and they could have easily revived the player in those times. A thief adds here, but I still managed to down this second elementalist right before the match ends. From that previous clip, we can see that the elementalist down state 3 is pretty good, but its down state 2 is very bad. In my opinion, it needs a bit of a buff to bring it in line with the other professions down state 2s. Let's compare it to some other professions down state 2s, and keep in mind for these clips I am not running stability. The thief has excellent down state abilities that make them very difficult to finish in a group fight. It's typically best to finish them with damage. The Warrior Stomp Stopper is good, but it's single target only, so it can be countered by blind, block, stability, or simply just by having two people perform the stomp. The Necro Down State 2 is good because it's a fear which counters stability. The Guardian Down State 2 is very good since it's an AoE knockback. The Mesmer Stomp Stopper still needs some work. It's supposed to produce a clone and teleport them away, but oftentimes the teleport is so short it leaves them in range of the initial stomp. The Engineer Down State 2 is okay, as it's a single target pull and knockdown. The Ranger has some pretty good down state abilities. Thunderclap will interrupt a stomp. If they have a canine pet, its knockdown can possibly interrupt a stomp. And if they have a wolf, they can use fear to interrupt a stomp. These next two clips are going to explain why I now view having Stand Your Ground as a must-have utility for any builds that are run from this point on. The Engineer drops his supply crate a little bit late since he still gets downed, but it still has a huge impact on the outcome of this fight. He interrupts my first stomp attempt with his pull knockdown, and then since the supply crate stunned me and the net turret rooted me, that's bought him enough time so he has access to his downstate 3 ability. His downstate 3 ability is excellent since it is an AoE knockback. To make matters worse, a Necro has come in and fear me, and I go on to lose this fight. However, if I had had stability, I would have downed him on my first attempt, and then I would have had a 1v1 with this Necro. This next fight is my first fight against the Ranger in BWE3, so I get completely surprised by their new downstate abilities. My first stomp attempt gets interrupted by Thunderclap, and then I realize that I'm just taking a ton of damage, so I have to back off and heal. The pet knocks me down. By the time I get back from my second stomp attempt, Thunderclap is off a of cooldown, I get interrupted again, and then I get downed. Fortunately, my health was higher than theirs, and I'm able to finish them off and rally. If I had had stability for that fight, they would have been finished on my very first stomp attempt. I'm going to close things out with a clip from the last stress test. 
In this fight, I'm using Sanctuary, Stand Your Ground, and Hollowed Ground for more stability. I use Shield of Absorption to protect Vexy from the Thieves' pistol attacks. We then switch over to the Ranger and end up downing them. I use Stand Your Ground to protect the Stomp on the Ranger right before an Elementalist comes in to add into the fight. The Elementalist puts down Static Field, but that is immediately countered with Hollow Ground which grants stability. Note that the Elementalist has put up stability, so what I think the Elementalist was trying to do here was throw down a Static Field, catch both Vexy and myself in a 3 second stun, put up their stability, and revive the Thief. However, since I put Hollowed Ground down to counter their Static Field and immediately started a stomp on the Thief, they weren't able to do that and it forces the Thief to teleport away and we avoid any chance of having the Elementalist revive that Thief. Instead, we end up downing the Elementalist and I use Sanctuary to protect my stop from any possible enemy adds. It turns out we get a friendly add, so we finish off the Elementalist and then finish off the Thief.